last time on Telltale's Game of Thrones. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. But perhaps I can give you justice. Oh, look who it is. It's Tyrion and Cersei. Which means this should be pleasant. You can do this. Now, she mentioned that we should pretty much say the opposite of whatever we're thinking. Listen to everybody whispering. This is good. Pretty much just gonna kiss ass here a bit. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oh, we'll full on kneel. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Oh, uh, yeah, God, I don't want to say her. it. I'm Stoffy saying it. is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Oh, God. A house of traitors. <laughs> uh, do you have a question? The girl is here to explain herself, yet says nothing. My apologies, Your Grace. I'm sure it's just a momentary lapse. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Oh, God. Yes. Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Yes. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes. We're yes, just, Your Grace. We're just being a yes woman right now. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. This I is see. bad news. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Voice of reason, Raises thank an you. an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she Oh my god. It. Perhaps. Oh, this is bad. Perhaps not. 
If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quick. I'm just trying to keep us out of trouble. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This Don't city alone make me is filled do anything with all stupid. sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Yeah, I get it. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. You'd be true to the king. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Marjorie she has to know. A threat to the crown, isn't she? Has to know this is bullshit. The though. most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Oh, great. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Oh course, God, what have grace. we done? I'll walk you out. Tyrion this always plays good cop. Surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Not saying a word. Nope. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you, eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. What are you Not suggesting? Her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. That's tough, man. I admire your discretion. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I get it. Now, the thing is, is will Marjorie understand what we were saying because she put us up to this. Please be her. Nope. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Not so great. There's <laughs> a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult, but at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. <laughs> ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of yours. Oh, God. Sarah, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell. Sarah's a little bit of a skank bag. 
I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, don't F this up. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Oh, yeah, great. Love Although, that. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for I his mother. I have no desire to be queen. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Don't touch any of this. Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. No, don't Sir move that Bron around. And... What are you doing? Exactly. Thank you. Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. She's... This girl is dangerous. Pleased and she's a genius at the same time. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. Yep. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult okay, as it may good. have been. Seems like Thank we're you, cool. my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I'm, I'm asking for sure. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Oh, God. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Uh, Sarah would roll over, I think. I prefer to speak with you alone. She might not like this. I think it's the safest bet, though. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request. Especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She uh, insisted. I don't, we keep throwing her under Joffrey the bus, knows but like... only too well your family fought for the start. <sighs> and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Yeah, it's Joffrey pretty bad. Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. 
I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Please. Very well. I'll oh. make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. Thank you. I will send a raven to my family at once. I know we put her in a tough spot there, for sure. What the hell is that? Oh, no, no. Seven hells. Sounds like somebody's being... Oh, yeah, he is being tortured. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, Each my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> oh, shit. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Oh, what shit. Is that? Nothing. Move. <laughs> Lord? Shh. Listen. There. Hear that? Oh, we are in trouble. I know I heard something. Don't move. Oh. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Who's the man they were torturing? I have an idea, actually, of who it may be. Is it you? Oh no. Oh wow. Whoa. Not who I thought it was, not what I thought it was. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was a good man, from what I knew. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. 
Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mister. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. I don't know if I trust the Scarface guy, this but... This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet oh. thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. For whom? Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. So yes, who put you up Lord, to it? I fled. Okay. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Why have they not been paid? We don't have somebody to take care of that if Lord the Lord's Ethan, not around. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Gotta stick together and stay strong. We are in this together. You say that. But it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> okay, that's enough, brother. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit Like, it. I get that, but... You can send him to the wall. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Oh, this is tough because somebody else could take advantage of us. But if we take the three fingers, yeah, he still has other fingers, but come on. We have to earn their trust somehow. Our house tends to its people. See this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. See, we, it, we... It's just words, but we may have earned his loyalty by showing some mercy there. 